Now, competition in the global tech scene redefined as advances by Chinese startup DeepSeek appear to undermine Washington's lead in the artificial intelligence race. Rival OpenAI has vowed to deliver, quote, much better models and accelerate product releases after DeepSeek's AI model overtook ChatGPT to become the top-rated app in the United States. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman called the Chinese startup's product, quote, impressive and said it was invigorating to have a new competitor. But Mr. Altman says there is a need for more computing power. He is appearing to push back on the idea that future AI developments might just cost less. U.S. President Donald Trump has called Deep Seek's strong showing a, quote, wake-up call and that it could threaten American dominance in artificial intelligence. The release of Deep Seek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on competing to win because we have the greatest scientists in the world, even... Chinese leadership told me that. They said, you have the most brilliant scientists in the world in Seattle and various places, but uh, Silicon Valley, they said, there's nobody like those people. This is very unusual when you hear a deep seek, when you hear somebody, somebody come up with something. We always have the ideas. We're always first. Well, despite scoring well on several metrics, the deep seek chatbot appears unable to take questions on issues considered politically sensitive in China such as Taiwan and Tiananmen. China's national cyber security rules say generative AI must not have content that violates what Beijing sees as, quote, core socialist values. DeepSeek has released various competitive AI models over the past year, including the V3 model, which the company's researchers say was trained for less than $6 million. That's a fraction of what's routinely spent by American rivals. But it's the latest model, that's the Deep Seek R1, which has rattled nerves on Wall Street. Oh, here's what we know about this low-cost Chinese AI chatbot. The model is developed by a startup founded in Hangzhou, also known as China's Silicon Valley. Deep Seek's AI assistant stands out for being free unlimited and so-called open source. Or that means anyone can access its code, see how it works and modify it themselves. DeepSeek researchers say this model showed what they describe as, quote, advanced reasoning skills. And that includes the ability to rethink its approach to mathematical problems. The company also says that R1 is 20 to 50 times cheaper to use compared to similar models owned, sold pardon me, by OpenAI. The U.S. still grappling with concerns that China could harvest data through TikTok. But DeepSeek could well obtain a lot more data than the widely popular video sharing platform TikTok. As this information collected is stored in secure servers located in China. Now, this includes personal data used to sign up and everything else entered into the program. The startup adds what, that they automatically collect information, including internet or other network activity information, including IP addresses, unique device identifiers, and keystrokes. And data like that, experts say, would be much more powerful than anything ever shared with or harvested by TikTok. Australia also raising privacy concerns, urging users to think carefully before they download this app. Its science minister says there are still many questions needing to be answered. Deep Seek's rapid rise seeming to run in tandem with recognition for its founder. State media Xinhua reporting that Liang Wenfeng was at a symposium hosted by Chinese Premier Li Qiang the very same day the Deep Seek R1 model was released. Analysts say his presence in this event can be taken as a sign that the startup success could be key to China's goal of overcoming U.S. export curbs on AI semiconductors. Oh, the selling pressure appearing to be easing a day after Deep Seek triggered a global market rout. The pan-European stocks 600 at this point up 0.63%, while Nvidia up 
more than 4% in pre-market trading after tanking 17% in the last session. Here in Asia, markets in tech-heavy South Korea and Taiwan closed for the next few days for the Chinese New Year holidays. Mainland China also closed until the 4th of February, leaving the spotlight firmly on Japanese firms. Are some AI stocks continuing heavy declines from yesterday in Japan? Adventest, as a chip testing firm that supplies NVIDIA, closing more than 11% in the red. Chip making equipment maker that's Tokyo Electron and SoftBank lower in both cases, uh, 5.22 for SoftBank and 5 and 3 quarters for Tokyo Electron. SoftBank is part of a $500 billion AI infrastructure push announced last week by U.S. President Donald Trump. The set of expanding to include companies such as Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Hitachi and Kawasaki Heavy Industries. Until recently, they had traded higher on the bet that they would benefit from overall high investment in AI-linked electricity infrastructure. But DeepSeek's claims now making investors wonder how much energy AI applications will actually or should actually consume.